GPT-0. This tool was designed to catch AI-generated text, especially for models like ChatGPT. The idea was simple. If it looks too smooth, too structured, or too robotic, it must be AI. But GPT-0 quickly ran into a very human problem. Humans don't write perfectly either. People found they could fool the system just by telling ChatGPT to write like an 11th grader. That's it. No fancy hacks. Just drop the sophistication, add a few awkward sentence breaks, and GPT-0 was convinced it was reading a teenager's late night homework. What's more ironic is that actual high schoolers who do write cleanly sometimes got flagged as AI. So teachers using this tool started marking down students for being too good. What GPT-0 exposed wasn't just a tech flaw. It showed how we confuse bad writing with human writing. And as the AI got better at mimicking imperfection, the detection tool became easier to fool. Hive AI. Hive AI was built to detect deepfake videos, those eerie, AI-generated clips that make a politician say things they never did, or a celebrity appear in videos they never filmed. But in 2023, a deepfake video managed to fool Hive AI. This clip was far from polished. On the contrary, it was poorly lit, grainy, and had very blurry motion, yet it tricked Hive AI. Indeed, if a deepfake video resembles a low-quality zoom call or a blurry security camera, it can actually bypass Hive's detection. Hive excels at spotting pixel-perfect, meticulously crafted fakes, but it struggles with messy, careless videos. A scammer exploited this very weakness, impersonating a CEO during a video call to approve a large money transfer. Hive was powerless, fooled into thinking the video was too crude to be fake. It turns out, the lower the video quality, the higher the chance of deceiving AI. Dark Trace AI Darktrace AI is a cybersecurity tool trained to detect suspicious activity in a network, things like sudden data transfers, unusual logins, or command line abuse. But now, hackers are using AI to bypass Darktrace. Imagine a thief studying your home alarm system, then building a robot that perfectly mimics your dog to move around undetected. Hackers are using reinforcement learning to act like a normal user. They copy the speed, timing, and style of access. They don't trigger any sudden alerts because they blend in. If a hacker trains their AI to observe a company's internal network behavior for days, learning how a typical user accesses files and then does the exact same thing with malicious intent, Darktrace will certainly fail. They are behavioral chameleons, quiet, smooth, and stealthy. Alpha Fold. AlphaFold, by DeepMind, can predict the structure of proteins, complex 3D shapes that fold like biological origami. It was a major breakthrough in biology. By 2023, other AI tools were able to create many kinds of synthetic proteins that worked just like natural ones. When AlphaFold scanned these proteins, its detector confirmed the synthetic molecules were real, natural versions. The synthetic protein structures were simply too good, which confused AlphaFold. An AI created a fake biological shape that passed the test of AlphaFold, itself a world-leading AI. If a malicious AI were to intentionally inject fake protein data into a drug production process, it could lead to disaster for both biology and medicine. JPLAG AI JPLAG helps detect if IT students copied code from ChatGPT. But the problem is, ChatGPT's coding style is exactly like a student's. Clean, simple logic, and structure. You just need to ask ChatGPT to write code as if you're nervous for an exam tomorrow, and they can bypass JP lag. Many other students are even simpler. Just swap variable names. Instead of result, they used output 1, 2, 3. JP lag was fooled by its own intelligence. Sometimes, ChatGPT just changed the indentation style, from tabs to spaces. JP Lag would say, okay, these students are really diligent. Resemble AI. This tool is designed to detect synthetic voices, yet the technology faces a significant challenge. Fake voices, even of prominent figures like Barack Obama, have bypassed its detector system. Voice AI tools such as Eleven Labs and Open Voice are becoming incredibly skilled at mimicking human tone, pauses, and even emotional inflection. A demo using a fabricated Morgan Freeman voice to narrate a commercial was confirmed as human-like by Resemble.ai, simply because the fake voice sounded too natural. In scams, malicious actors have used fake boss voices to instruct employees to make urgent money transactions transfers. Many complied because the voice sounded exactly like their manager. It seems Resemble.ai has been significantly outpaced by Eleven Labs. Optic AI. 
Optic AI was built to analyze images and detect if they were created by AI tools like Midjourney or DALLE. While it was considered a major threat to AI generated images, it wasn't foolproof. Some users discovered that by simply tweaking their Midjourney prompts to include phrases like film grain, blurry background, or camera noise, the resulting images could bypass detection. Optics detector was trained on clean, ideal, and often too perfect images. However, when you intentionally introduced flaws, mimicking a bad photo taken with a phone, Optic AI became confused. There are countless examples of Optic being fooled by low-quality pictures. Optic seemed to think that no one would be free enough to fake such a bad photo. Originality AI this one was built for SEO writers, bloggers, and agencies to ensure the articles they post aren't AI-generated. But in the wild west of content creation, it became a cat-and-mouse game. AI tools were used to write content. Then other AI tools were used to rewrite it in a more human tone. Some users even layered several paraphrasers together, like running text through Quillbot, then Grammarly, then Hemingway Editor, before passing it through Originality.ai. The result? An AI article that sailed through the detector as if it came from a free freelance writer with coffee stains on their keyboard. There were cases where AI-generated content passed as 90% human, while real human writing got flagged as likely AI. The tool became more about scoring well than being accurate. So what's the point of originality.ai when it's fighting countless content creation AIs that are more powerful? Done watching? If you like this video, hit subscribe for more cool stuff.